Hi there YouTubers, today I'm doing something a bit different. Well today I'm going to do one of them very boring box opening videos. <laughs> yes I am. A box opening video. Yes, it's very useful for you to see what's inside the box. Well, it is, because in our efforts to save energy, I'm trying to save energy. And to do that, I've put loads of solar panels outside. Well, I say loads, not that many really, I could do a few more. But to do that, I had to buy some things called inverters. And these ones, one, two, are micro inverters. And very exciting this is because what they're going to do is they're going to convert the voltage of electricity out of my solar panels into electricity that I can use in the house. Brilliant! What a brainer, isn't it? Except they're bloody expensive. <gasps> Did I swear again? Now, inside this box, as you can see, see, and there's another box here, which I have to be a bit more. Two boxes, which means there's one, two inverters. Alright? Can't say nothing, can you? Well, here we go. Oh, it's an unboxing video. I see lots of unboxing videos. When I buy a new toy, I look at all the unboxing videos on YouTube. I don't know why, but it's like an obsession. I need the instructions. And as you see here, with these instructions, it shows you what it does. Solar panels and an inverter which converts the 24 plus voltage from the solar panels into 230 volts AC for the house yeah and these are what you call grid tie inverters you can't see them can you because I've got these silly bits of yeah got well packaged lovely packaging oh it's looking it's lovely packaging made of foam and underneath the packaging get rid of it woohoo we have two cables. Oh, I've got more than that. Well, I've got two cables and a couple of uh, waterproof compression connectors. Yeah? Well, they're not the bit that, bits that are interesting for me. It's what's inside the boxes that's interesting. There we go. In there, we have another set of instructions and two inverters. One, two. And frankly, I think they look pretty bloody good quality. Um, the external finish is fantastic. It's like a brushed aluminium, um, which looks like it's been anodized with stainless steel fixings, yeah. And you get stainless steel bolts and washers to go with it for mounting, yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay. What I might do is when I've um, when I'm ready, I've got my solar, solar panels ready to put these on. Um, I might do another video and show you what I've done there. Um, I tell you what I have noticed here. There's an Earth symbol. Yeah, on this obviously there's a hole here, which you can maybe see there, for your earth mounting. Da -da -da -da. Okay, and then there's a variety of other, co other connectors on the side. So let's get as always exciting and this is. It's exciting. Oh, oh, it's pretty, isn't it? Very pretty. Oh, my precious. Oh, my precious. Oh, oh have I got safety specs on? I don't know. But here you go. I've got them on. Right. And on the front of here it just says Solar Micro Waterproof 1200 Inverter. Well, these are grid tie inverters um, to use with your main voltage. So say for instance you were to um, either sell the electricity um, to your provider via the grid. So it'd be grid, these are grid, we call grid tie. But if you consider we're high usage nothing is going to go to the grid. And um, and the, the our company EDF is fitting what we call smart meter, so no, we won't be able to put anything into the grid um, unless we sign a contract. Oh, I don't want to do that. It's like a twenty-year-old contract the EDF on France, in France. So it's a bit a bit expensive. Um, so I'm not doing that. And it's a two thousand euro connection charge. Uh oh. So what we're going to do is we're going to provide electric for us. We're going to use the electricity first. Yeah. And then if, for instance, we need any more, we'll then buy that from EDF. Okay? Um, EDF, on oh, course. Okay, looking at the, these inverters, they're, they're quite substantial. 
Oh, we'll sit down because I've got weary legs. Oh, my poor weary legs. Anyway, two, two inverters, nice blue sticker on it. I'll point that out. I don't know, apart from a bit of information. All right, and we have a series of connectors. These, I believe, are MC4 connectors. I'm sure some of you will correct me if I'm wrong. Um, quite typical for solar panels. Um, there's one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. All right. Generally speaking, you'd put for me we've got 280 watt panels, so we're going to put four panels on each inverter. Yeah. And from that, we then have this, these other connectors on the side here, for which those funny fat cables that we got a minute ago connect to. And that's where the 230 volt or 240 volt depends where you what does it say here. La 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 230 volts, yeah. Um, are going to be coming from here to provide our grid. Yeah? Or our household electricity. So you don't have to connect all of them up, you only have to connect up what you need to use. So for instance, my solar panels have two cables coming off them. One male, one female. Yeah? So obviously the male will fit into the female and the female would fit into the male. No, onto the male. Yeah, onto the male. That would be normal, wouldn't it? And this would other stuff. But anyway, um, and these connectors have little rubber O-rings, yeah, because they're waterproof connectors. The idea is they don't get wet, hence they're waterproof. Um, and these are mounted outside. Normally mounted, from what I can tell, what I've seen, they usually mount underneath the panel, yeah, um, or in the vicinity, underneath maybe one of the panels, and the other panels link into it. So, um, well, there you have it. It seems pretty good quality. These uh, mounts on sides, yet again, um, are screwed on with stainless steel screws, um, like little mini bolts, and security type uh, anti tamper screws on the top there, which I like the tamper, so I don't like them. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, there you have it. I'm quite excited about it, really, because. It will help provide a, a portion of my electricity for my workshop and the house. During the day, probably the workshop. During the night, probably not a lot because it will be dark. And the solar panels won't be doing a lot. So, but the, these are going to be accompanying a, a different system, which will be um, an off-grid type system as well. So I'm trying to utilise um, the grid tie with the off-grid. So I'm doing a bit of a weird scenario going on. Um, but, you know, it's, um, they weren't expensive. In my mind, these were £198 each, but these come off eBay. Yeah, eBay. And um, the supplier was in Germany, which is ideal for me, being I'm in France. Um, they literally didn't even take a week, it took about four days to get here. Um, so I was, I'm quite pleased with that, really. And um, there you go, guys. If you like this video, yeah, I know it's just an unboxing video, it doesn't really. Um, give you much information really apart from I know what you could do if I do this yeah zoom in read the manual yeah 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 you're a lot wiser now aren't you notice in Japanese at the bottom um but yeah that probably won't be used <laughs> so there you go all right each of these are 1200 watts yeah so like I said before I can put four of my panels on with each of these inverters so there's eight panels I've got at 280 watts um and that should give me a bit of Space there as well because it's 2400 watts and I sh in, on good on a good day I shouldn't peak any more than 2000 watts on a good day so th that should more than cater and um, cope with what we've got so there you go let me just have a little bit touchy feely there because I'm quite excited about this you know quite excited there you go okay bye bye see you later maybe, we'll, maybe I'll do something with wood next time because I'm in my wood shop and um, I'll show you the, yeah, I'll, I'll show you both my little solar panel array one day. But I'll have to do a video of that first, you know. And all that, jazz. That's it. Oh, yeah, yeah, button. There you go. Hey! Au revoir!